Right now, more than 20,000 vaccines have been administered statewide over the past two weeks. More than 102,000 doses have been shipped to the state as we move through phase one of Utah's distribution plan. It's been a slower rollout than expected. New specialist Matt Rascone is live in Utah County tonight with some of the reasons why, Matt. Yeah, 20% of our vaccine administered. That amount is in line with the country, but low compared to some neighboring states. And the health department says there are several factors that widen that gap between shipping the vaccine and giving it. More vaccine doses on the way, but it will take time before they arrive in the body. There's a lot that goes into actually getting a vaccine. Pfizer and Moderna have shipped a combined 102,000 doses to Utah since the start of the rollout. But so far, the state has administered about 20 percent. We are on track it's never going to be fast enough for everyone. Jenny Johnson with the health department says there's a wait in shipping and a 24 hour delay in reporting the vaccine has been administered, but that's only part of it. It's not surprising to us that people see it, you know, a number that's been shipped to Utah and they think that that means we should have 100,000 people vaccinated as soon as we get the vaccine. And that's just not how it works. Johnson also points to busy hospitals where most of the vaccinations are happening. These are the same places that have been dealing with this, you know, onslaught of COVID-19 patients. And hospitals are instructed not to give it to all staff at once in case there are side effects that require health care workers to take a sick day. People just have to know that there's a there's a lag in time from the time it's shipped the time actually goes in someone's arm. Still, 20% looks low in a recent New York Times article that showed neighboring state Colorado had already administered more than 75% of their vaccine. I can't speak to why some states have administered more vaccine than Utah. But Johnson says local health departments have stocked up on doses to prepare for clinics. And Utah is still doing better than the country as a whole. The CDC reports more than 2 million doses administered or about 18% of the amount of vaccine distributed. We need people to remember that this isn't over yet. And with the state giving the vaccine at long-term care facilities and new clinics that are underway at local health departments, Johnson expects that gap between when the, when the vaccine is, is shipped to when it's administered to begin to close in the coming days and weeks. Guys. Matt Rascone, live for us tonight. Thanks, Matt.